A very good morning, children. Welcome back to the session. Let us continue the remaining part of the lesson, parts of a computer. In the last video class, you have learned about computer parts, monitor and keyboard. Isn't it, children? So today, let us learn about the remaining parts of the computer in detail. Okay, children? So before that, let us do a small activity. Okay, children? So the activity is, you have identified each of the following pictures. For each picture, write the first letter of its name in the circle provided. Then write the word found by these letters. Okay, children. So you have to see the picture and you have to write the name. So the first picture, what is the name of the first picture, children? So it is a mango, M for mango. Very good. Now see the second picture and tell me what is it? Orange. O for orange. Very good. Now see the next picture. Very colorful. What is this children? U for umbrella. Very good. Now see the next picture and tell me what is this? Snake. S for snake. Very scary. Isn't it? Then see the next picture and tell me what is this children? E for egg. An egg. Okay children. Now what you have to do? You have to form a word by using the letters in the red circle. Okay, so let us form the word children. M, O, U, S, E. So what is the word form? Mouse. Very good. So this is the computer part, mouse. So the picture which is shown here is a mouse. Not real mouse children. It is a computer mouse. A computer mouse has two or three buttons. You can see two or three buttons are shown in the picture. And also it has a long tail like wire is connected to CPU. So you can see a long wire is there now that will be connected to CPU. We point at things with our finger, isn't it children? So in the same way, a computer mouse is used to point at things which is shown on the monitor. So a monitor will have many things. So those things can be pointed by using a mouse. Okay children. So not only that children, a computer mouse also helps us to draw pictures. So it is used to draw the pictures. Okay, children. Now, let us do one more activity. Find out the next part of the computer. So here is an activity. You have to see the picture and you have to write the name. What is the first picture, children, here? See for cat. Very good. Now, see the next picture and tell me what is that? See for Pot, pivot pot. Very good. Now see the next picture and tell me what is this? Umbrella. U for umbrella. Good. Now see the next picture and tell me what is this? Again the same picture. Cat. Very good. Next picture. What is this children? Apple. A for apple. You all like apples, isn't it children? So A for apple. So see the next picture and tell me what is this? Ball. B for ball. Very good. Now. See the next picture and tell me what is this? Ice cream. You all like it. I for ice cream. Now see the next picture and tell me what is this? Nest. N for nest. Very good. Now see the next picture and tell me what is this children? This is E for egg. Now see the last picture and tell me what is this? A big tree. T for tree. Okay children. So now again what you have to do here? I have to form a word by using the letters which are in the red circle. Okay. So let us form the word C P U. C P U. Then C A B I N E T. Cabinet. So what is the word form, children? C P U cabinet. So this is another computer part. The picture which is shown here is a CPU cabinet. Okay, children. So a key, CPU cabinet is very important part of the computer. So without this part, the computer will not work. Okay. A CPU cabinet is a box which contains CPU. You can see here each small chip is there, no children? You can see in the picture. So that is called a CPU. So a CPU cabinet is a box which contains CPU. CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. So CPU's full form is 
central C for central, P for process, processing and U for unit. So CPU works like the brain of a computer. So that's why it is called as brain of the computer. And it is a very important part of the computer without which the computer will not work. Understood children? Hope you have understood all about these uh, four main parts of the computer. Okay, children. So now let us, let me test. Let me test you. So here, write the names of the different parts of a computer in the box. Okay, so here you have to write the, identify the part of the computer and you have to write. Okay, children. So can you tell me what is this children? This is a monitor. Very good. Now, next one. What is this children? Can you tell me? It is a keyboard. Very good. Now see the next part. And tell me what is this? CPU cabinet. Very good. Brain of the computer. Now next part. The smallest part of the computer. See. Mouse. Very good. Okay children. Okay. Now let us do one more exercise. So here you have to identify and name the computer part missing from the images shown here. So here a part of a computer is missing. Okay, so you have to write the part which is missing here. Understood? So in the first picture, so monitor is there. You can see CPU cabinet and a mouse. So which part is missing here, children? Can you tell me? Very good. So keyboard is missing. Okay. Now, see the second picture and tell me. Monitor is there. You can see a keyboard also and the mouse. Then which part is missing here? CPU cabinet. Very good. Okay, children. So that's all for today. Here is a small assignment for you all. Name the four main parts of the computer. So here you have to write the four main parts of the computer. Okay, children. Thank you and have a nice day.